So hello, welcome to Tactic Ted on this introductory tutorial to CSS, whereby we just mention a little bit of what CSS is all about and um, try um, some basic styling. Okay, so we're just going to look at the basic styling. So basically, we're looking at how how do we write these styles and um, maybe write one two styles. So this is for the purpose of understanding, but we will be coding. Um, writing our we will be developing let me just use the word developing we will be developing our websites uh, on other tutorials for this it's just introduction okay so when we talk about css as i've mentioned in earlier videos it's basically cascading style sheets okay and so um, basically this is used for styling okay and the syntax is really easy because you just have a selector if I may call it selector and then property and value always end with a semicolon and close it okay so when I, what, what what am i saying okay so in the html introduction we talked about button okay for example a button and it can have attributes okay and so in a button we talked about let's say it's a click me button okay close the button so this button is the selector Okay, so the selector can be an element or an attribute. And not just any attribute, but the class or ID attributes. Okay, so element or attribute. Now, when we say a selector, then this button comes and it's written as button, okay? And then we have that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I completely confused it with something different. So it's just this, okay? So it's button, okay? And then that. And then the property. Now, what style do we want it to have? Now, this button, I think I want the color to be blue now that's a property and its value is blue values change so it can be blue you can put it to green to orange but the color this is standard okay and also you can use blue or this is called hex so where you say okay i don't know for blue but for white is f f f or f f f f f f should be six or three okay this is white for blue you can just check you don't need to cram them all and it can also be rgb red blue green okay the intensity is now that i know for blue because blue is the third so this will be zero zero and 255 but the ranges so if this is 255 zero zero then it's red but if it's 255 zero 252 then it's another different color but we'll just use blue for simplicity and so other than the color we can have its font size to be 20 or 2 pixels okay since i've already written two you can just use it as so and then you close it and you write another thing okay so this is basically the syntax so you uh the css file is also is always dot css okay this is a small letter and inside it is where we write all this or you can also have it in line or internal okay so i'll just talk about the external css because this is what we mostly use if it's just css the writing because it's easier to manage and it's neat okay now uh, when we're talking about buttons so we have that then we can have now using the class and id class in css now the selector won't just be the class okay let me just show you first Okay, so I have a button again. I'll just use a button for easy understanding because we already started with it. Button of um, <clears throat> ID 
of class btn okay and then you close it and then say click me okay so now this button of class btn when we're referencing it not using button but the class because maybe we have three buttons but we want only those with the class btn to be styled then we can say dot okay dot represents a class so we are saying this is a class of which has a name of btn and we want to style it if it were an id then we would say this is an id okay the hash represents an id of uh, btn now ids are unique classes apply to multiple places so when you have one thing that is unique to that page and you want to style it differently you use an id when you have uh, several elements that you want to style them the same then it's btn also they are useful in javascript and then you do that okay you write your style here so i won't talk much about styling because this is just saying what css is all about so the styles we will learn more um, properties later okay so this is it for basic css yeah hope it was helpful it showed you uh, the basic syntax and that it's just not hard so yeah see you on the next one thank you